Hello, my name is Stephanie and I am one of your Zuma coaches. Welcome to your yoga practice. Today is going to be a very simple, gentle yoga stretch. You don't have to know how to do any yoga, but if you are a yogi, I will be showing modifications that can take it up a notch if you need it. If you have a yoga mat, just go ahead and lay that on the floor. If you don't, it's fine. If you have a yoga block, grab that. If you don't, you can literally just roll up a beach towel or a bath towel and we can use that. So also, if you have water, I do suggest that you have your water close by. I will be giving you uh, drink breaks throughout our practice. So we are going to just start sitting up on top of our block or if you have the towel, rolling it and sitting it up on top. This is just to elongate the spine so when we're sitting up, we're nice and long and tall. We're gonna bring our hands in front of our heart center and we're just gonna start with three breaths. Inhale up. Exhale down. Again, inhale up. Getting a little movement in our upper body. Start to quiet the mind. One more shoulder roll. And we're just gonna reach up nice and long and lean. Side rib stretch. to do a hip circle three times each direction. Just warming up those hips. And then we'll switch direction. posture that we're going to do is a heart opener. So you're just going to take your fingertips behind you, pull the shoulders down, and think about shining the heart up. Relaxing your jaw and shoulders and neck. Perfect. And release that. Okay, so let's grab a little sip of water before we head to the floor. So just remove the block. We're gonna take it into what is called tabletop. So tabletop, you just wanna make sure the knees are directly above the hips and the wrists are directly above the shoulders. We're gonna stretch out our toes so you're just going to tuck them under and then just sit it back. Our poor little toes sometimes are cramped up in our shoes for hours. So this is a really good stretch just to stretch them out. Release that, flatten the feet and tap them out. Good. One more, tuck. All I'm going to do is scoop forward just a little bit. 
so my plant can stop attacking me. The next thing we're gonna do is what is called a cat cow. And this is just a nice warm up for your spine. You're going to release your abdominals, looking up, inhale. And then on your exhale, you're dropping your chin to your chest, arching your back up like an angry Halloween cat. Let's do that again. Inhale to the cow. Exhale to the cat. One more. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Beautiful. And then back to the neutral spine. We're going to warm up the core. You're going to extend your left leg. I'm going to scoot up a little more. You're going to extend the left leg. You're going to lift and then you're going to reach your right arm forward. Once you have this, go ahead and keep your eyes looking down at the earth. And then switch. Right leg, left arm. And release. Let's do this one more time. Left leg, right arm, reaching. And release. And left arm. Right leg. And release. Good. Now we're going to take those knees wide, feet are together, reach the arms forward. As you sit back, this is called child's pose. This is a surrender pose. You can be up on your fingertips or your hands can be flat. And then you just drop your forehead to your mat and just breathe. Go one more breath here. And release. Now we're going to do what is called thread the needle. This is a wonderful stretch for our shoulders, our traps. You're going to take your left arm, reach it under your right, put your left ear, left cheek down on your yoga mat. You can even look under that right arm if that feels good. If it doesn't, then just close your eyes. Yoga is all about movement and flow that feels good to you. Good. Release that arm and switch. Right arm comes under the left, right ear, right cheek down. Continuing to breathe. And release. Let's do one more child's pose, sitting back on the feet, relaxing your body, forehead to the mat. And release that. Beautiful. Okay. We are going to go back into our tabletop. I do want you to have your block close by if you have a block. If you don't, it's fine. And what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that the wrists are under the shoulders and the knees are under the hips. And then you're going to tuck the toes and lift the knees just about a half an inch off the floor. Keep your eyes looking down at your mat. One more breath here, and then you're going to lift the hips up, pressing back in 
into downward facing dog. Now, if this is your first down dog, you can take your feet a little wider and you can do what's called walk the dog, where you're just alternating, dropping one heel and then the other. I want you to think about pulling shoulders down away from the ears. And as you continue to get warmer, you can start bringing the feet towards each other. One more breath here. And then looking between the hands, you're going to bring the right foot in between the hands. This is called low runner's lunge. Okay, so you've got one hand on each side of the foot. This is where the block can come in handy. You can put it underneath your left hand, and then that brings the floor up to you if you need it. That back leg is long and strong. And the ankle is right above that knee. Then for a little spinal twist, if you'd like, left hand is flat, right arm reaches up. Good. One more breath here and bring it down. And then we're gonna take this front foot back to plank. So plank, you're just on your toes and your hands. We're pulling the belly button in. Softening between the shoulder blades. One more breath. And then we're going to sit it back in that downward facing dog again. Adjust the feet as you need to. And again, if your body feels a little tight in the calves, just keep pedaling the feet. Sometimes it feels good to come up on the tippy toes and then melt the heels down. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Then looking between the hands, we're gonna bring the left foot in between the hands. Same thing, if you need to use the block, it goes under the right hand. That back leg is long and strong. Our core is engaged. Just breathe, breathe, breathe. And then we're going to keep the right hand on the mat and we're going to reach the left arm up. Again, this is a spinal twist. You can look down, you can look up. If the spinal twist doesn't work for you, just keep the hand down. But if you like it, just make sure that you're not dumping the weight in the support arm. And let's bring that hand back down. We're going to do one more plank. Right here. Pulling the belly button in. And then one more down dog. Lifting those hips up. Pressing back, adjusting the feet as needed. Maybe even closing your eyes. Good. Maybe turning your head right and left. Beautiful. One more breath here. And then slowly bringing it back to cat cow in tabletop, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Give me a cow with the inhale. Give me a cat with the exhale. Do that one more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Back to the neutral spine. And then we're going to have a seat. Let's go 
grab a little sip of water. You did awesome. All right, I want you to touch your back, grab your elbow, sitting up tall, and switch, touch your back, grab your elbow, perfect, release that, then I want you to take your fingertips to your shoulders and circle the elbows up around and up and around one more up and around and then we're going to finish just the way we started with our hands in front of our heart center we're going to take three breaths inhale up and exhale down Inhale up, exhale down, last one, inhale up, and exhale down. And that is it, my friends, that is your yoga practice for your day. And I want to wish you a namaste.